Well, February, of course, is National Heart Month, and there is a lot that we can do to protect our hearts. And of course, that starts with our plate. On this Food City Friday, registered dietitian Kirby Moyer from Food City is here to share some tips, give us some ideas, some simple things that we can do. Welcome back to daytime. Thank you for having me this Friday. And I know February is a big time for us to think about our heart health. Yeah. And the reason it is so important for both men and women is that it is actually the number one health risk that we're gonna face throughout our lifetime. Um, and that's kind of weird to think about, but we wanna start early eating for our heart health. And if you already are suffering from heart disease, it does not mean that you can't make changes to help improve some of your um, kind of heart health factors. And a lot of those changes can start right at the grocery store. You've got some great selections that we can just maybe change some of our habits. Yes, and I think um, if you've ever gone to a doctor or a dietitian and they've given you tips, it becomes overwhelming when you're in the store and you're like, how do I make these swaps? So we're gonna start talking about some nutrients we wanna limit and then some nutrients we want to increase. And the first one is sodium, yeah. um, which is also known as salt. And what happens is when we consume too much salt, it makes our blood vessels draw in water and it increases our blood pressure. And over time, that makes our heart work harder than it needs to be. Okay, so we want to watch our sodium intake, and we do hear that a lot from our we doctor. Hear I feel that like a lot. Yes. that is one of those common threads. And so when you're looking at the different products, you say Food City does it very easily so Super you can easy. know. And I love our food club canned options. We actually color code them. So any of our blue label ones are going to be our no salt added, which means that no extra salt or sodium was used when these were preserved, um, which is great. And then you can also look for low sodium. That means that that's gonna meet a certain percentage on the label. Um, reading labels we find is really complicated for people. You have to know the numbers, you have to know what to look for. So our pick well tags, which are little shelf tags, are also going to tell you if something qualifies as a low sodium choice, um, which I think is really nice. And canned items are one of the best or like highest sources of sodium, so swapping those is a great way to reduce your sodium intake. And then um, seasonings and spices. Looking for salt-free blends or just herbs, that's going to infuse that flavor and help you cut back on that sodium with cooking as well. And then those herbs are going to give us the flavor that yes, we still yes. need, so we feel like we're getting that, yes. you know? And over here, I know like when you're looking at your broth, that can be a huge... And this is a bit of a kind of labeling, I don't want to say misconception, but this one actually says 50% less sodium. And what that means is that that was less sodium than the original item. That doesn't mean it's low sodium. Okay. So we really have to be a smart shopper and say, I want to look for those tags. This is still great. It's going to reduce the sodium, but not be quite as low as those targets we're looking for in that low sodium. Okay. Option. And then we're going to switch over here. I'm noticing just a lot of really good yes. heart healthy foods. Yeah. We're going to notice lots of fruits and vegetables. And that's because our blood pressure is managed by other minerals like magnesium, potassium, calcium. We talk about those a lot being associated with health. These will help us balance. So eating more of these foods is also going to promote heart health. Um, I say remember the O's. Remember when, the O's? When it comes to potassium, which is confusing, but okay. tomatoes, potatoes, <laughs> avocados, and oranges. And then we throw one non-O in there, bananas. <laughs> and bananas. Bananas we know are good with potassium. Yeah, good with potassium, but those are some other great sources. Calcium is gonna come from our dairy sources. We do wanna shop lower fat choices for that, just to help again control some of those heart health factors. But we notice a lot of color, a lot of fresh produce, but we can also get in some of those convenient canned options, still gonna give us some of those essential nutrients as well. So a good balance. Yes. And I like that. Remember the O's, the potatoes, and the tomatoes. <laughs> Oranges, yes. Yeah. So if you think about those O's, avocados, um, and those are just some great options to add in every single day. Also naturally low in sodium. Okay. Which and is good. Coming up a little later, you're gonna show us how we can make some other swaps. Yes for heart more health. Tips. Hey, don't forget when you're getting dressed today, throw on your red. It's wear red for women. Go red for women today as we all raise awareness of heart disease and do our part. For more information, you can visit foodcity.com. We're gonna take a break. We're back with more of daytime right after this.